Hi guys, Movie Trim here. Today, I'm gonna explain 2004 romance drama movie name Don't Move. Please support us with a like and a comment. That way you can help the channel grow. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Timo, a doctor, and his colleagues are shown operating on a patient in the operating room as the movie opens. A doctor named Ada tells Timo that a girl has been taken into the hospital when she arrives. I believe that child to be your daughter, Angela, it was a tragic accident. When Timo gets to know this, he runs to the operating room where he finds his daughter Angela, who has been in an accident. Timo grows pretty fond of this after seeing it, and he does not see his daughter's condition as such. Timo's co-workers eventually let him know that Angela has serious brain damage, and that only surgery can save her. Timo gives his staff the task of operating on Angela. Due to his inability to do so given the condition of his daughter, Ada goes with her colleagues to operate on Angela after getting to know this. Timo, however, waits outside, hoping for his daughter's survival. After a time, it began to pour severely when Timo turned to see out the hospital window. A young woman exits the hospital at this same moment and sits in the middle of the road in the pouring rain. Red heels were worn on the girl's feet. Timo becomes quite anxious as he notices the hills showing a situation from a flashback from 15 years ago, when Timo was making his way to a little town in search of job. But in the middle of his journey, the car breaks down. He now needs a mechanic's assistance. He then visits a nearby cafe to ask about the mechanic. He meets Natalia there. When Natalia discovers of Timo's situation, she offers an invitation for him to go with her to the nearby garage. At some point, they make it to the mechanic's workshop. Unfortunately, given that, the shop was shut. Timo asked about the phone booth at that moment so he could call his wife and tell her about it. There aren't any pay phones nearby, according to Natalie. She offers walking to her home and making the call from there. Timo also agrees. He calls his wife after going to Natalie's house. But when he calls his wife, she doesn't pick up. Timo eventually makes his way to a nearby restaurant, where he starts to drink excessively because it is summer at the time. Timo consequently becomes intoxicated quite quickly. Timo rushes to Natalia's house and compels her because he can no longer control himself due to the rain. Even after Natalia's apparent refusal, it is cut. Timo and his wife Elsa are seen discussing the following day. Both of them have made it clear that Elsa adores Timo. She wants to please him, but she can't. Timo was pressured to do this with Natalie as a result. Timo goes to meet Natalie after a few days, and then he apologizes, saying that he was drunken at the time. After hearing him out, Natalia also decides to forgive him. While watching Natalie, we notice that she, like Timo, was bringing out all of this. Timo is also aware of his growing focus on Natalie as the days go by. He would then visit Natalie at her house to spend time with her. Natalie, too, was having a good time. After that, the cycle goes on for several days. One day, Timo was preparing to deliver Natalia to his home. As Natalia's condition started to decline, Timo brings her to the hospital as soon as he notices this. He does discover that Natalie is pregnant, though, actually, it is about it. Natalia was also aware. However, she had no intention of telling Timo about it. She didn't want to ruin Timo and his marriage. Consequently, Timo starts to be extra cautious. As soon as he finds out that Natalie is pregnant, he calls her quite often. He takes her shopping and tries his best to make her happy. Natalia recalled coming to the mall as a young child and becoming obsessed with a t-shirt one day when she and Timo were talking. Yet salespeople kept asking her to try on the t-shirt despite the fact that she couldn't afford it. Then as she was in the restroom changing, a man came up and started touching her. Of course, that person was the same salesperson. As a result, he advised her not to tell anyone and that he had given her the t-shirt for free. Natalia hadn't previously revealed it to anyone. However, she felt so at peace around Timo that she gave him the pass. This is the storyline. After hearing, Timo realizes that Natalie has experienced a lot since she was a child. And he won't stand by while she suffers. He now makes the decision to tell his wife Elsa about Natalia the same evening. Elsa tells Timo that she is pregnant just as he is ready to tell her about Natalie in the house. Timo is listening to the pregnancy but says nothing to Elsa. And in some sense he is trapped between the two. Since Elsa and Natalia are both pregnant. Since Timo has received more attention than the others. He pauses a couple of days to seeing Natalie. Timo's behavior has grown boring to Natalia as well. As a result, Natalie makes the decision to see Timo at the hospital. Natalie thinks Timo no longer likes her after their conversation, and is simply blowing her time. She then walks out in rage. Timo goes to see Natalie a few days later, and when he gets there, he sees Natalie dancing. However, none of these actions are allowed for pregnant women. Timo has asked for something. Natalia explains that a nearby doctor conducted her abortion. Timo was not living up to her, therefore. Timo realizes his mistakes and feels horrible after hearing this. 
Timo is also notified by Natalie of the salesperson incident that she previously informed him of. He is not a salesperson, rather, Timo learns about this. Then the next shot shows him feeling even worse. Timo and Elsa are seen shopping for the upcoming child. Timo sees Natalie on the other side of the road after doing the same thing on their way home. Timo thinks of a reason to see Natalie. Just before going to meet Natalie, sends Elsa home alone. However, Natalie had left both before and after discovering it. Timo tracks Natalie down. But since Timo hasn't shown up to meet her in a few days, Natalie starts punching him as soon as he approaches her. She was unable to remain furious at Timo for very long, despite this. Timo was then taken by her to a restaurant for dinner. Timo is told by Natalie that the day she decided to get an abortion, she came to his house to meet him. He wasn't at home, though. Then she noticed his wife Elsa placing her hands on her belly with light touch. And when she found out she was pregnant, she decided to have an abortion. Hearing all of this, Timo now heads for Natalia's home. Then Natalie tells him that she has now moved into a hotel after selling her home to a builder. It is time for Elsa to be delivered, as seen in the picture that follows. Timo drives her to the hospital regarding where Elsa delivers a beautiful daughter. Her name is Angela. As a conclusion, we can draw that the girl who had an accident at the beginning of the film is actually Elsa and Timo's daughter. Timo goes on to tell Natalie about the wonderful news at her hotel. Natalie is happy for Timo as well. We now have a clearer understanding of what Timo was saying to Natalie. He decides to leave Natalie in his village the same night because he is so in love with her at this point. They both share a hotel room. Timo says to Natalie, I can't live without you. At dinner, Natalia is excited to hear that, and I'll also be coming to your village. But she falls ill very quickly. Timo takes her to his room as a result. Timo observes that Natalie's health has declined and that she is experiencing severe stomach pain. Timo takes her to the hospital as soon as he notices this. When Natalie is examined, it is found that her stomach has significant internal bleeding. Timo then understands that Natalie was not properly aborted by the local doctor. All of this is taking place ahead to Timo's decision to have surgery because her condition was failing quickly. After the operation is finished successfully, Natalie quickly regains consciousness. However, even after she regained consciousness, she remained in awful stomach pain. And on Timo, she passes away. Timo is completely devastated as a result, which is why he was afraid he might fall for Angela after this, just like Natalia did. As asked by Timo, Two people showed up at the hospital to pick up Natalie's body. The same red heels eventually appear in Timo's palm, which he asks be buried with Natalie. But since Natalie's body has already been put in the casket, they reject it. Timo now cries repeatedly when thinking of Natalie. Following their leaving, we are returned to the present. Timo is told that Angela is no longer in danger by the doctor, Ada. Timo calms in and takes deeper breaths while listening. Timo and Elsa enter to meet Angela. Even though Angela was still unconscious, she was no longer in danger. Timo eventually intends to let out Natalie's heels. Thus, we might conclude that he continued to hold himself responsible for Natalia's passing. He had been wearing around in those heels for a while. He no longer feels the weight of this grief, though. Film ends. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.